Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do a tie. This is the double Windsor knot. So drape the tie over your neck, flip your collar up. In your right hand, you have the short side. In your left hand, you have the, the, the longer, wider side of the tie. Okay, so this is gonna be a point of view so you can kind of see from my perspective as you're tying your tie. In the tie, there's a, usually a stitched diagonal line and that's usually a good starting point to, to, to cross over your tie. So take the short side, your right hand, this your left hand over here. So cross over right where that stitched line is, okay? The shorter side goes underneath, okay? Hold it with your left hand. So now I have the long side that's hanging down over the right. I'm gonna bring that under and around the right side. Okay, so just do like that. Now take it under. Okay, keep holding with your left hand, with your right hand pull it around and down through the left side. So now you've wrapped it around here, you wrap it around there. Okay, we have something that looks like that. Now we're just gonna pull around the front. Now importantly, what you wanna do now, keep your fingers right here and wrap it around your fingers, okay? You go around and then back through the middle. Now use your fingers to open up a space for it to pull through. So you wanna pull the tie through now. Now, one thing you wanna remember, don't let it get bunched up in here. Make sure it's all smooth. It doesn't wanna crinkle up. So now what I do is hold the, hold the small end hanging out down on the bottom and slowly, slowly pull. Then you can pull, you pull the sides to, to really form that Windsor knot. Okay, pull it again, you wanna slowly tighten it. Slowly tighten it, pull again. Okay, now we hold the small end, hold the knot and pull it up. Okay, if you see the double Windsor, see it makes a nice big triangle knot, you can kind of adjust the knot a little bit here. You can pull it a little tighter and when you pull these ends, it really makes that triangle on the knot there. Okay, now down here underneath the tie, tuck in the excess, the smaller. You might want to make sure it's not hanging past that. Okay, the, the small end is not hanging past the big end. Okay, there we go. That's how you do your double Windsor knot. Okay, now that you have your knot formed, put your collar down, and then if you see the length of it, usually you want it just above your belt buckle. It's, it's kind of a personal preference, but it usually for, for my length, I usually just do it right at that stitched mark in the tie and that usually gets it right to my belt buckle. So you might be a little further or shorter than that, but that's a good rule of thumb. So that's the Windsor knot. Hope that helps. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel.